this video, unsurprisingly, is going to be heavily censored. So if you'd like to check out the full uncensored version of this video while supporting this channel in the process, then head on over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash the anime man, links in the description below. I can't believe I'm saying this. Can you draw me how to teach a Willy? Uh, <laughs> how do you draw force? <laughs> that game in Minecraft. Dude. You're in another realm. <laughs> we want to add some guts. And we're not talking about the Berserk character. No. Yeah. How's it going everyone? This is the Anime Man and today I am with Shindoel. Shindoel. The Arrow Manga Man. How are you? <laughs> Is that your title? Yes. We have the Anime Man and the Aero Manga, Manga Man. Man. There you go, perfect. Okay. For those of you who uh, don't know Shindo, you draw, uh, I'd say, Infamous Hen series. What was the name of it again? Henshin. Henshin. Yes. Metamorphosis. Yes. We've had him on Trash Taste and I've interviewed you in the past as well. But uh, today, instead of an interview, I figured we would highlight your skills as an illustrator. I've always wanted to learn how to draw, but I didn't want to just ask any illustrator. I wanted to ask the most cultured of illustrators. So I rung up Shindo and I asked him, hey, can you teach me how to draw some lewd stuff? So here we are today. Have you ever taught anyone how to draw? I've never taught anyone how to okay. draw. Okay, are you, are you confident? Cause like, I'm not the best illustrator in the world. Am I? I can, okay. Just, come on, bro. <laughs> come on, I've read your work, all right? Yeah. I know you can draw. So we're gonna be learning how to draw some things, you know, preferably some lewd things because that is what you specialize okay. in. Obviously, because we're gonna be drawing some lewd things, regardless of if they're gonna be good or not on my end, I won't be able to show you guys on YouTube. So if you wanna see the full uncensored version of this video and support me in the process, then you can head over to my Patreon, patreon.com slash the anime man, links in the description. But hey, before we begin this video, hi. I'm here at Santa Monica Beach in Los Angeles, California. And doesn't that look absolutely beautiful? But you can look even more beautiful thanks to today's sponsor, Game Beauty. If you guys know me well enough, then you would know that I am a massive fan of the fantastic Atlas game, Persona 5. And luckily for you Persona fans out there, Game Beauty has a brand new Persona 5 makeup collection ready to be picked up with very affordable pricing points with high quality products. For example, the multi-chrome shape shifter shadows sells for $6 each while market price for this type of product starts from eight and goes up to $24. Now, why would you pay that much money to look fly as hell when you can just go to Game Beauty and do it for a nice price. The eyeshadow palettes are super pigmented and easy to blend, and the liquid lipstick has a mousse texture and stays moisturized throughout the day. This Persona 5 collection is created based on the 10 Phantom Thieves and the main personas and the nine palaces in the game. With quality top to bottom from product to packaging, even if you're not familiar with the game, you'll still be able to enjoy the extensive collection of 22 high quality makeup products. And best of all, there are no surprise charges on shipping. All the costs are shown at checkout for this collection. But guys, you have to be quick because this is limited edition and there are no restocks. So don't say that you didn't see it coming. <laughs> So if you gamer boys and gamer girls want to show off your Persona 5 pride with style, maybe next time you're at an outing at a beautiful place here like Santa Monica, then make sure to head on over to the link in the description below to get the makeup collection for yourself before it runs out, but be quick. There are limited stocks and there are no restocks happening. Big thank you to Game Beauty for sponsoring this video. Now, onto the show. How should we get started on this? How well do you draw? Um, <laughs> not great. I, I used to draw when I was back in school. I had a DeviantArt account. Oh wow! Don't look it up, please. <laughs> You've brought uh, all got of your pen, equipment, right? Pens and you know, pencils and. Is uh, this like your standard stuff that you used to draw? If we're doing like manga, like hardcore manga, mm. then I'd want some like you know, pens with nibs on them. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like the. But ink today, pencil. yeah, I don't yeah. think we have that much time today. So sure. we're just gonna work with pencils, pens. Well, since we're gonna do um, pen today, yeah. I think we should go like whatever you feel is. Uh, Hentish. Whatever I feel is hentish. Hentish. Yeah. Uh, my cover's a shocker. I've never drawn anything hentish really? that you speak of. No, never. Okay. Oh, what you drew in like high school, right? I didn't draw Willy. balls in the middle yeah, school. Yeah, but like, did you? <laughs> I mean, you must have had that moment where you realized you had the power to draw boobs. <laughs> <laughs> if I did realize that power to draw boobs, I would probably be doing what you're doing right uh, now. You want well, me to draw let's boobs? Let's start today and uh, draw like, like a cute, Whatever, anime girl. Cute anime girl? Yeah. Oh God. My goal for today, I want to be able to draw something that I can beat my meat to without feeling guilty. That's kind of vague. <laughs> because like, like anything goes. What do you require to, you know? <laughs> what do I require? What, what, do you, uh, what are the like minimum requirements for like, you know, 
Well, well, naturally, there needs to be uh, a, a male and a female involved. See, um, that's already like, you know, something. Okay. Preferably like some form of nudity, some form of like activity. We should start off with uh, character designs. What is your usual go-to when it comes to figuring out character designs? Like, what do you start um, with? I think we have to draw power from like when we were in our pubescent years. <laughs> Because I think that's when we, that's where we uh, drive, like, I don't know, derive all our, uh, like, base sort of fetishes. That's true. Okay. So whatever you found hot, like, back in when we were, like, 13, 14, mm. I think that's the base of what you find hot now. Man spinning facts, that for sense? sure. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. When I was, like, 13, 14, I was obsessed with Kotegawa Yui. Actually, I was obsessed with every character in that manga. Honestly, any one of those was hot, but I think Yui awoke something in me. So I don't know what it is though. Maybe it's her attitude, maybe it's her character design, but she was definitely the hottest, for sure. Maybe straight long hair. Slightly like uh, like raised eyes, like kind of the, the fox eyes yeah, type yeah, of yeah. like look. Slightly pouty. Okay. You know, something like that. The problem is I don't know how to draw any of those. <laughs> <laughs> Since we're gonna gauge how you're, how you know, good you are at sure. first. Let's start with like a face. A face. Okay. This and is like the hardest part, right? To like draw a circle. Don't worry about line quality at this at this stage. Put lines on paper and mm -hmm. start like sculpting a shape. Do you do like the the, the cross on the face thing um, to like figure out the eyes? Or if sometimes, if mm. I feel like it, like right. it's a good place to start. Uh, where to from here? Since you, with, you have the cross now, you know where the eyes go. Yeah. So start with the start eyes. Start with the eyes. How do you draw eyes? <laughs> <laughs> See, I know, like, oh, you were, you're a kid of child of the 90s. It's like, this is the 90s look right here. Yeah. It's not until you, like, start drawing the parts that you realize the human face is a lot smaller than everything else. I drew, like, a massive circle, and I'm like, yeah, I'll fill that in. And then I just, <laughs> everything's just, like, in the center. I'm gonna redraw that shape. Okay. Well, since, you know, we're just messing around with the shapes here, you could just not worry about amazing. Okay, sure. If you do it too much, too mm. big, just, you know, Draw add, over. add more lines. To cover it up. Yeah, yeah, just cover it up. Okay, there we go. The moment I made the face a bit smaller, it immediately got better. Oh, yeah, yeah. Something like that, I guess? Yeah, yeah, okay. What about if you like? <laughs> not a whole lot, if I'm being honest. <laughs> I think I did the eyes all right. Because, you know, I feel that with a lot of, like, anime illustrations, the eyes are, like, the part that is the most distinct. I feel right. every artist has different ways they draw sure, eyes. Sure. Why did you make her uh, shaggy when, when you said you like uh, the ink type? You know what it probably is? It's because I can't draw it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, yours is a million times better. <laughs> um, okay, so... Alright. <laughs> <laughs> you can be honest. I don't know where to start. I mean, like... <laughs> There's just too much. It is, let's start with the hair, okay? Okay. So you made it a shaggy because mm. you said you don't know how what else to do with the hair. Mm. Let's uh, make it smooth. Smooth Cold it out? Yeah, just... Alright, let's smooth it out. Let's smooth it out. Imagine there's a face here mm. at the moment. And now you kind of figure out where the hairline is. We'll start with maybe like a little above the hairline mm -hmm. and just straight down, maybe a little curve. And what we're gonna do is, we have the hairline, mm. and we're gonna bring the hair behind the ears. Yes. Just a few lines there. We'll have some bangs and we'll bring them almost all the way to the top of it, just to frame the bangs. All right. Yeah, do the ones on the left and the right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now we have long hair. Imagine we have a neck here, shoulders. And I think what's important when you're drawing long <laughs> When you're drawing long hair, <laughs> is that you uh, imagine the the physics of the hair, okay? So we have hair coming down and they hit the shoulders. They either go behind the shoulders mm. or they go in front of the shoulders. So you draw some hair coming in behind, you draw some hair coming forward. Now we have the shape of our long haired Ian show. We have the bangs. Maybe draw the eyes right below the bangs. Let's try bring your art style into the 2000s. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can draw the right eye really well, but mm -hmm. I can't draw the left eye very well. Just draw, try drawing the, just the tops, top lines. Imagine you're making one of those like marble sculptures without, you know, the pupils in them. All right. Like that. <laughs> and give up some eyebrows. I want to define the shape of the face more first. Okay. She just looks like a hamster now. Like, she looks like she's got a mouthful of food. Oh yeah, I mean, that's, that's, it. that's I think, cute. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> Let's erase her face 
at them for now. Okay. Be gone, cursed girl. <laughs> but how far away from the center should I put the eyes? You know how big an eye you draw? Mm. Okay, there should be three eye lengths three. in the middle of the face. Okay, so it's a lot further this way. Here. Okay, oh, there we go. Balance. Okay. That's a lot better balance. Okay. Now we uh, want to decide what kind of nose you want to draw. I see you draw the, the dot nose. Yeah, the like the little triangle nose <laughs> yeah. or the dot nose, yeah. Now we could do multiple um, variations on the dot nose. We could yeah. do like sort of drawing the bridge yeah. through the line. What we had a lot in the 90s in anime, you draw a suggestion of where the highlight or the shadow of the nose is. Like kind of like. Yeah. Yeah. I do kind of like just like the small dot nose. Okay. Where it's like, it's almost like you don't see the nose mm -hmm. until you get a closer look at the face right. type of thing. I think those go well with um, like cuter faces. Yeah. Like really saccharine cute faces. Yeah. It depends on what kind of style you want. I don't think I'm at the point where I can start choosing styles. <laughs> what, what do you think would work best for a face like this? I think um, probably uh, you want Maybe a longer sort of profile. Like yeah, just add a little bit of bridge. Like a long nose? Like yeah. That. <laughs> I feel everything I draw is just like, mm? <laughs> I don't know what it is. I think you have balance issue where you should. You're a little w w wide to the right. Yeah. And a little bit, you know, narrow to the left. And I, this is like a right handed person thing. Yeah. I think. Okay. I okay. think I figured that out. All right, now that I have mastered drawing a girl, we should move on to something a little saucier. I can't believe I'm saying this. Can you draw me how to teach a- Willie. Uh, <laughs> can you teach me how to draw a- Willie. Yes. There's one thing I have drawn more than anime girls. It's <laughs> Willie. It's because anyone who's been to an all boys high school will know that whenever you're not listening in class, the number one thing every kid does in high school is draws a bunch of- Willie. The school desks. So I've done that a couple of times. Do you want to get a gauge of my- Willy. <laughs> yes, let's see what kind of Willy you prefer. Okay, okay. So I'm just gonna draw the head. Oh, you're just doing like straight. Straight, okay, yep. Yeah. I sometimes draw like the, the, the veiny motherfuckers. Oh yeah. Like this like this boy is ready to go. Yeah, when you um, start drawing Aero Manga in magazines, mm -hmm. your editor would tell you to just draw the biggest, biggest, like the vein, biggest Willy. Gropiest veins you've ever seen. <laughs> Those won't satisfy the uh, editors. Though. Oh, really? Yeah, you oh, want, like, shit. Ropey motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> like, no one's willy should be this ropey <laughs> in real life, but this is how we're talking about here. Also, enjoy enjoy this part of the video page. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing mine from the side here. Oh, uh, yeah. You got, you, got this, you got the side angle going. <laughs> Mine's a bit, uh, like, straight. Yours is the one that curves off. I think, yeah, like, people like having a bit of curve on their willy. <laughs> That's a, that's a quote I want to on a shirt. <laughs> the editors at Dai Manga would want to yeah. see big ass veins like that. Jesus Christ! I know, right? That's like a main artery, right? Yeah, there. that's that. You should be worried if you see this. <laughs> and I think the trick to drawing veins mm. is that it's like a tree branch, okay. and the closer you are to the center of your body, it's, mm. that's where the trunk is. I notice you don't draw any foreskin. Uh, that's probably just my brain. Uh, <laughs> not being used to that. Okay, I think we're done here. <laughs> okay, cool. Easy. So Easy. clearly I am much better and more competent and drawing really? than I am a cute girl. We go on to the other end. The Vergugu. The Vergugu. Wow, this is really just gonna expose myself. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. This is the hardest thing for a guy to draw. It's not a meme when we say that guys don't know the anatomy of a <laughs> beaver correctly. Uh, so let's see. I don't think I've ever drawn a beaver before. Not even one of those like, like bathroom wall ones. Like, boom. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I've done like the I've done like the drawing a girl and then doing the W and Y thing. Oh before. yeah, yeah. I think what helps is if you um, incorporate it into the, legs. the entire uh, pelvis. Okay, okay, so draw the legs out. Yeah. Alright. Okay. Okay, let's go. Alright, uh, so... How big is the beaver? Hang on. Um... It's not the whole thing, right? Is it? <laughs> I think it's like, kind of... Like... Maybe that size. And then you have, uh, what is called the Daiichi. Yes. I'm gonna say it in Japanese to avoid <laughs> me censoring things. And the bean. The bean. Yes. The bean. The magical bean. And then the inside here is just complicated. <laughs> there's, there's a lot going on. Kind of peek into the 
to the to the interior design. It looks like a Aoi. <laughs> yeah. As it should, right? <laughs> That's pretty accurate. That's probably the most scientifically accurate of the Goo Goo I've drawn. <laughs> and this is another part where the editors would like you to stylize, <laughs> stylize the, <laughs> the beaver more than than <laughs> in reality because like, it's hard to see what's going on. So they like to see like, a separation. Okay, sure. Between. All right, let me let me do one where the the, the gate is wide open. Yes. The hole is like down here. I can't show any of this on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, like now that I think about it, I'm like, is there a good looking beaver? I mean, it depends. Sometimes you want like a like droopy beaver, beaver. Just for yeah. like your uh, shizuma, for your housewives, and you want like tight ones. Now you can embellish. So <laughs> embellish. Yeah, I mean, we'll like, put some sparkles on it. <laughs> yeah, you can. So you can droop it. Uh huh. Like make it really like meaty, like that. Yeah, and have. The lips come down here, and so it's like a tired one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> a tired abalone. Yeah. So I mean, like it depends on your storyline, you know. Mm -hmm. Let's say um, you start story in chapter one. You know, she's a virgin, and you have like you know the tight nondescript. But chapter three, maybe she or four, she's like you know she's older. She's been around. She's a little bit. She's a little tired. She's droopy. Right. She's not a brand new car yeah. anymore. Yeah. So you could tell a story. You know, most people use, uh, you know, like character development to tell their stories. Uh, Shindo uses the droopiness <laughs> of the abalone. It's part of the character. It's development. part of the character development. Exactly. It's like you know, sometimes your character gets a scar. Sometimes oh, your your jerk labia, you know, droops a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, how is it that I'm better at drawing an abalone and a willy? Um, own anime girl. <laughs> How does that make sense? Is this my calling? Maybe. I don't get it. Hey, uh, here, Titus, if you need uh, an artist who needs a, a good shaped Willy and a droopy Vagugu, then uh, call me. Don't, don't <laughs> call me about character design though, that's on you. So we got that. Uh, let's see, what's next? Maybe the breast? Sure, let's do boobs. Yeah, let's draw some boobies, everyone's favorite. Oops. What kind of boobies do you like? Uh, you know, I'm a man of culture. As you know, I like all boobies. What do you like? I'm, I like them interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, sometimes you get balloon boobs. Yeah. They're a little bit too round. They're a bit too, you know, just fake looking. Symmetric. Yeah, right. I like them to be more like. Natural? Yeah, I want them to tell their own story. You right. know? <laughs> <laughs> Let's see your ideal set of boobies. Okay, sure. Mm, let's see. We need like a, a teardrop shape. Two men silently draw boobs while <laughs> two other men watch. <laughs> oh, it's serious stuff, man. <laughs> I have to concentrate. <laughs> I did it. Boobies. <laughs> Yay. And everybody clapped. Ooh, I think we should keep working on it. Keep working on it? Okay, sure. I think the difference between you and I is that like you clearly have a better sense of like drawing anatomy, whereas I don't. Imagine the boobies. It just looks like a pair of eyes. <laughs> <laughs> if I draw in the nipples right now, it'll look like a pair of eyes. <laughs> look like eyebrows. <laughs> yeah, they do look like eyebrows. What you can do to improve um, your big old titties mm. is to show them have you know Wait. add physics. You want them to uh, sort of act under gravity. Mm. So you want maybe a little droopiness. Oh no, I just made her titties square. <laughs> <laughs> It's like a game of Minecraft titties, dude! <laughs> How do you like the nipples? Do you want them puffy? Do you like them, like, flat? Mm, I'm just trying to think, like, naturally, what would be the most fitting nipples on a pair of tits like this? And I feel... puffy? I add the the nipple here, and they kind of they kind of poke upwards. Because they're happy. <laughs> it's kebab <Bob> boss. <laughs> happy, <laughs> happy little, little nipples. nipples. <laughs> That's a big nipple I just gave her. That's fine, it's not even that big. You're on another realm. You know? <laughs> I've seen some shit, man. <laughs> For the little time we got, I think these are the, probably the best pair of tits you're gonna see coming out of it. Out of 10, what would you give it? That's a, a solid five. Uh, you know what, I'll take that. I was expecting <laughs> like a two, so. All right, I think there is one more crucial element of every good doujin, other than Willy, Beaver, Boobs, and that is of course the Ahigao. Oh, the Ahigao. Anyone who's read your works will know that you, you have like a, a, almost a signature Shindo L Ahigao, as I like to call it. Okay. Even. I was mentioning earlier about like how the eyes are a very prominent feature of like mm -hmm. an artist's style. 
I think in the case of Dojin artists, I think Ahegawa's as well are very prominent stuff. Ahegawa's gotten to be, I don't know, pretty standard nowadays, right? I think so, but I think there's so many different types of Ahegawa's yeah. now. You know, the ones where like sometimes the eyes roll back and sure. they don't, or like the heart pupils or whatever. Mm -hmm. like that. So like, what what is the, the key factor to make, in your opinion, the, the, the hottest Ahegawa? Back in the day, before the Ahegawa had a name, you had to have the eyes rolling back. Nowadays, I don't know, things that aren't Ahegao are now called Ahegao. Torogao, which is kind of like a melty face. Mm. So the main factors to an Ahegao, I think, are the eyes, of course, and the mouth. So if you have eyes going up, that's... Now you're halfway there. And then what kind of mouth do you want, right? So... Yeah. What's what's like your go-to now? You want a little smile on there, right? Yeah. And maybe the tongue is kind of kind of hanging out. That's a pretty light. I Damn, already. He, you, you, you drew that in like 30 seconds. <laughs> That's insane. So I guess this is going to be uh, probably the trickiest part for me because we saw how much we struggled just with a normal face. <laughs> Let me get a, a head going. So I noticed that you didn't immediately like just draw like a circle. You kind of already just like drew... Yeah, I start just with, with the shape. Like the chin, right? Yeah. Like some people draw geometry first and some people draw silhouettes. I tend to draw more silhouettes. Okay. How do you draw the eyes going off? Well, just have the upper eyelid mm. as a line mm -hmm. you imagine like if the pupil was a circle how much of it do you want to show all right so just draw like the bottom of the eye right like that <laughs> kind of curved eyebrows up well you know that's that's uh, optional optional yeah you can have an angry eye go can you <laughs> yeah sure would that work yeah of course it would work if you want a tense eye go you still have the eyes up like that but you have oh okay yeah, right? yeah, yeah and you yeah. could have ooh ooh eye go right you see you've seen this one yeah i've seen that okay now that now that you put it into drawing i i've definitely seen that before let's start off with the simple one do squiggle mouth and then a little curve at the top <laughs> <laughs> This is the face of someone who's like, all right, tell me your joke. Come on now. <laughs> you know uh, why? You know why? I'll listen. Because the eyes are actually focusing that way. You either want oh. a cross eye, you want a cross eye, or you want, like, if you want to go weird, you could have it, like, right, like all over, all over the, place. the place. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, this is why you're the professional, and I'm not. <laughs> okay, there we go. Yeah. Now it's a little That's a jokey face. Yeah, that was just like getting a little silly. <laughs> that, I guess. Sure. That's a basic thing. Yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, that, that, that works, I guess. How do you draw like the tongue sticking out? Because you see it a lot in like uh, e-girls nowadays. Sure, yeah. Trying to make like an Ahegawa face, like mm -hmm. a Belle Delphine face. Like, yeah, yeah. The tongue is like fully, fully sticking out. So like, how do you draw that in like a sexy way? You could do it this way, the relaxed way, or you could do it the tense way. So if you want to do it the relaxed way, I think what makes it work mm. is that you have a reason for everything. I don't think we're going to get philosophical with Ahegawa's, <laughs> but here we everything are. Everything has a reason why the tongue hangs out of an Ahegawa. Right. Has a reason. If you're relaxed, she's so relaxed, let's say, that the tongue just drops, drops out. out. Maybe yeah. she's so relaxed that she won't be smiling. She'll be like sort of tired. We won't get tired. So you're, she's tired, so maybe her eyes aren't will make them like different sizes here. Mm. That's one way to do it. Right, right. Now, if you want to do it tense, so you get the tongue out like that, or you could have it kept the tongue come up because there's so much force coming. And it's like kind of flopping Yes, it and off, it's right. flopping up. Right, right. And that's what makes it work. So it's all contextual. Right. I think you know what it is with my face right now? This face part is fine. It's just the head is just like, an egg. I've noticed that like the big difference between your face and my uh -huh. face is that your face is a lot more like slim. We're just tighten it up. Then. Yeah, I, I, up so I, I gotta like, I gotta kind of tighten up. That's better. Okay, yeah, there we go. Yeah, I think this part was just way too round. It just looks like side on. It's not fine. She could be like a, she could be like a thick girl and you know. Yeah, true, true. It's kind of chunky. It's fine. It's cute. Okay. I think you gotta add like blushes as well, right? If you want the full package. Teach me the full package, <laughs> Sensei. I need to know. So we get the face here. Blush lines, I think very from author to author. Mm. I like having as much blush as I can. Okay. I like having it like over the eyes, over the ears. Okay. So like whole face is going red. Right. right. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now that, see, that immediately looks more like an Ahiga. You also now want some like sweat. You could add tears. You could add some drool. You could add 
so it's not anything that comes out you could you know make it come out <laughs> that's just me on a hot day it's just like get me the <laughs> out of here dude all your fluids are coming all out all my fluids are just coming out of every orifice <laughs> now you want context for the eye gal so if you want it in action then you want the hair flying because Forward. we're in action right it's after the action mm. maybe the hair is messed up right? and it is sweat so it's clinging on to the face mm. it's context so i guess this one would be in rest so yeah have the hair kind of matted to the forehead mm -hmm. okay not okay not bad not bad this is hard as shit. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess then we've kind of got the basics of the Ahigawa down. One mm. final thing I need to learn about, which I feel is very essential when it comes to people having intercourse is positions. Did you like study the Kama Sutra at all? Or, <laughs> or like, did you just I've like- I've never read it, no. You obviously had to look up like kind of uh, anatomy books and stuff like that, right? Yeah, sure. So like at, at my level of drawing, mm -hmm. what would be the easiest position for me to draw? Mm, I think the easiest position, um, I mean, doggy style is easy. How would you start with that? Now we're going into a bit of geometry and you don't have to worry about, you know, how clean your lines are. But let's say um, the most boring one is just straight from the side. So let's do that. Okay. <laughs> now she has her weight on her hands and her legs. Mm. So her shoulders will come up a bit and mm. her back, let's say, arches because it's cute. You know, it's more appealing to have a little curvature on the back. My fifth grade art teacher would be proud right now. <laughs> or maybe not. Maybe she'll be disgusted. I don't know. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> I am disappointed. <laughs> I didn't teach you this. Okay. Her legs come like this, I guess. Let's say she has a beauty. Okay. Two old bitties. Two old bitties. Right. Two old bitties. So they hang out down. Straight down. Here. Or. If you want to do it in action, then forward. Then you have it forward. It's an action shot now. <laughs> Gone right into the, the moment of pain. Since this is an action shot, mm. we want to exaggerate the action. You want the hips of the penetrator to come forward. So we exaggerate the forward so momentum. Kind of ar arches off right. the back. And that. Now, we also have the ass. We want to exaggerate the ass mm. getting struck from behind. <laughs> we have action lines now. Boom. Like that. Oh, okay, yeah. Like a shock. Yeah, like a shock wave. We're doing our intro character. Mm -hmm. She has long hair. So obviously that is part of the action. The jaw comes down here. Yeah. Bigger, bigger, bigger. Give her a bigger brain. Bigger brain. <laughs> okay. She's a student council after all. <laughs> now, anime characters aren't human characters. Um, they're not like <laughs> yeah. anatomically human. They're more like anatomically cats. Now, <laughs> okay. so they have a muzzle, you see. The nose comes out. You see, and the mouth parts come out here mm. like that. Right. I, oh, okay. I see. I see. Dare I say, Shibo, mm -hmm. this is kind of fun. <laughs> and it's fun. It's fun. Make this your hobby of yours. I don't know how my girlfriend's going to feel about it, but she'll be like, what are you drawing, honey? Oh, God. Maybe she'll get into it, too. Yeah. Both both draw it together. I definitely say you're right on the fact that this is probably the easiest position. What would you say, in your professional opinion, is the hardest position you've ever had to draw? Um, it's, it's mostly about camera angle too, so... Because I'm sure, like, this position from, like, slightly, like, front and side mm -hmm. is, like, way harder, right? I don't know how artists do that. Like, how do you... Do you, like, reference pictures or do you just kind of, like, figure it out? I mean, like, we have a sort of a culmination of all, you know, whatever you've seen. Then you could, like, create sort of a 3D model in your head, mm. you know, move it around, see where the camera goes, right. stuff like that. But um, I think what's difficult is, let's say, a commissionary position, and you have like one character on top of the other. And it's hard, let's say if there's, there's a big dude on top, how do you show the girl on the bottom? That becomes an issue. So some, a lot of times you see like invisible dudes. Right? The see-through dudes, <laughs> yeah. See -through dude. That's just like the easiest way to get around that problem. Oh, actually, another thing I want you to teach me is another thing that is very common in a lot of dojins. The x-ray tag, if oh, you get my yes. drift. Well, this is a composition that you see a lot in Ero Manga. Yep. You see, you have the, the full action here, and then above it, in the as a background, mm. you'll see the X-ray. Right, right. So we draw, we've drawn our Willie. Yep. <laughs> we've drawn our, you know, Bieber. Yeah. So now we're gonna combine those. Okay. Into an X-ray. Okay. So now this is sideways, so it makes sense that we draw the X-ray, X-ray sideways. Cool. Now we start with Willie. Yeah. And the cock should be the uh, thing that everything you know moves around. And since this is an action scene, we could add action to our. X-ray. Okay. You could have the Willy. bit, we could have it curved, mm -hmm. just to show momentum. <laughs> Inertia of the Willy. Now we want big boy here mm -hmm. to slam right 
into the uterus. Okay. And we want the uterus to sort of like bend to the will of this guy here. Right. Now, a lot of people don't do this. I like to do this. I know, um, you know, Kiyoshiro likes to do this. Yeah. We want to add some guts. Okay. <laughs> And we're not talking about the berserk character. No, like lots of guts faces, right? <laughs> now we have large intestines and small intestines. And small intestines are just like basically tubes. Yeah. Large intestines, you know, as you know, of course, are like these sort of wrinkly dudes. <laughs> wrinkly dudes. <laughs> we also want to add the bladder. Now the bladder comes up in front here. So this is where the abdomen here, the bladder comes and her lower abdomen here, so okay. we're gonna add that. What sells everything is a big sound effect. Yeah, like a thwack. Yeah, so we're gonna do... Oh damn, you know. Big. Alright. Then we have also maybe a voice here. That's so cool. It sells everything. Yeah. yeah, hell yeah. That's so cool. It almost seems like a shame that you're like covering up a lot of what you just drew. Right. But... Um, with the sound effect, but mm -hmm. now we just actually added like the full effect of the right of the, of the scene you know compared to like a few minutes ago before this video started there was no way in hell i could have drawn anything as competent as this but i think uh shindo sensei did a very good job of teaching me so thank you very much sensei i appreciate you thanks for having me if you want to see more of me and shindo doing weird shit on camera like this then uh leave a like on this video and also go check out shindo sensei's stuff links down in the description below if you want to check out the full uncensored version because i doubt you guys watching this on YouTube saw the majority of what we just drew <laughs> and you like to support the channel then go over to my Patreon patreon.com slash the anime man links in the description below but anyways guys thanks for watching thank you Sensei for coming out thanks for having me and hope you guys enjoyed I'll see you in the next video Johnny.